Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Chargeflow to PayPal in 2023. Chargeflow is a powerful tool for managing your chargebacks uh, and fraud preventions. So in this guide, I'll walk you through the essential steps uh, to integrate Chargeflow with your PayPal accounts for effective change uh, or chargeback management. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, you'll have to go and sign in into your Chargeflow account. To do so, make sure to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and here you'll have to type charge flow.io and hit the enter button. Of course, if you type .com, you'll be taken to their home screen, but it will take more time. As example, we can here type like chargeflow.com just to, to show. Uh, for me, of course, I've already typed it, so they already redirected me from .com to .io. If it's your first time, they'll take you right away into their home screen or main screen. So here, if you have an account, make sure to log in into it. If you don't, you'll have to click on char Try Charge, uh, charge Flow for free. Here, as you can see at the top right corner. But before, if you don't know nothing about the Charge Flow, make sure to scroll down. As you can see, see what it's about, read some information about it, just have a general idea or familiarize yourself with the website. You can even see what people are saying about it online or something like that, as you can see. So, and you'll be able to connect to PayPal as we need in this video, Shopify, Amazon Pay, Stripe, WooCommerce, whatever, a lot of other stuff that's not even included here. So that's it, I guess. So of course, if you're interested to see the pricing, here's it. You can simply click here. I'll post, You can post a video and check it all by your own. And of course, how it works, as you can see, basically, uh, new disputes are pulled automatically. Charge score is calculated and we generate a charge response. We human prove your charge response and you basically win in the last. So for me, I'll just go here to the top right corner and click on login to login into my account. Now, of course, if you have a Shopify account, it will not hurt you to simply continue Shopify. This will prevent you from uh, basically like doing a lot of boring steps like every time you have to log in with your email and password and even as an example, creating your account. You can click on get started here at the top right corner and you can continue with Shopify. You can create an account with Shopify. So it's very basic. So here I'll, set, I'll instead click on sign in, to so sign in and I'll sign in with Shopify. And as you can see, I'm right away signed in into my account. Once you sign in into your account, as you can see, this will pop out into your screen if you did not activate your account yet. Basically, Chargeflow automates disputes resolution or yeah, resolution and only charge for successful outcome. Approve the billing cap on Shopify to use our service. So if you want to like use uh, Chargeflow with Shopify or any other store that you may want to connect it into it, you will have to activate your account first. And as you can see here, what you can expect, first step is simply today, get started with Chargeflow for three and two in the upcoming month, we gather your disputes and start uh, handling them. And of course, uh, once they gather and your disputes and start handling them, when the disputes are settled, you will have to pay 25%, but just only if the disputes resolved in your favor. So if you want to activate your account, you can simply click on it here. And if you don't, basically click on skip for now. As you can see, it's very small here. If you can see it, as you can see, very simple. So click on it if you want to. And as you can see, your disputes are at risk. Activate your account for free to automate your disputes with Chargeflow. You will not be charged today and unless Chargeflow wins your disputes. So they just kind of remind you again, if you want to click automate my disputes, if you don't click, I understand risk. and go on now what we'll need to do if you want to connect our charge flow to paypal account before make sure to go and open a new tab go to paypal of course dot com hit the enter button and of course this will take you to their home screen here in or main screen if you have any uh, problem at the language like me scroll down to the bottom go to this left uh, corner and click on english and as you can see you'll find yourself on english of course that's depending on whatever country you are at they will give you like your first language so as you can see here again if you have an account just go to the top right corner log in into your account and if you don't you'll have to go and click on sign up and set 
So I'll just click here on login and as an example here with my accounts, let's just see if I remember the password. I actually don't know. So let's just click on forgot password and said click on next. And of course I'll have to go into my email provider, which is Gmail and receive an email instead and click on next and type in your code. So they will send me a code as you can see in my email as I just entered. And here I'll just have to uh, refresh and see yeah here is it so i'll have to go and copy that code and simply paste it here click and continue and as you can see now i'll have to go and create another password so let's just go and do that and look out of all devices no need and click on save and as you can see you are all set up so they are redirecting me now so basically here as you can see i have my accounts for you make sure to have your account and if you don't basically you can simply go and create an account and you will be good to go now what you will need to do go back to chart flow go to the slit panel go and click on integrations and here make sure to scroll down as you can see you'll find payments processors uh can even connect shopify if you want to uh, go to settings as you can see you can find your connected uh, storage if you want to that does not matter in this video as you can see we'll find here payments processors so we'll be able to connect to its PayPal, Stripe, Klarna, Braintree, and Shopify payments. And as you can see, this is not available for me. It's not available for all the countries. So if it's not if it's available, can connect this or not. So as you can see, connect to Shopify payments account to full automate your Shopify payments disputes. So for me, as you can see, connect to your PayPal account to full automate your PayPal disputes. Click on connect, and this will open this for me. So basically, here I'll just click on connect with PayPal. And as you can see, just a moment. So they basically like, I didn't have to log in into my account. I didn't have to do anything because I already have PayPal logged in in a new tab. If you don't want to do this, you can simply log in while you are clicking on connect here on Chartflow. And as you can see, this will let Chartflow access your disputes and phone PayPal to help you manage disputes, access and manage disputes on your behalf, uh, access seller's details on, of your disputes on PayPal, such as seller name, email, and invoice number. You can review or cancel these permissions on your PayPal account settings. So if you want, click on agree and continue. If you don't, click on exit and example, I don't want to. So here's it. Now let's just check and uh, refresh and it should be normally connected oh yeah so as you can see your disputes are not being handled so i'll not be able to connect it until i activate my account so make sure to go and activate your account if because if it's not activated you'll not be able to connect once you activate it you'll have to go and do the connection again and basically you will be good to go your uh, paypal will be connected and you can utilize of course charge, charge flow features you can explore the features tools provided by charge flow for uh, effectively like managing the chargebacks and uh, reduce the fraud so that's going to be it for me today for you thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video